Hi guys, another bargain store project. Um, one of the comments I had quite a while ago asked if I could make an aeroplane as one of my projects. I've been trying to avoid doing it mainly because I've got nowhere convenient to fly an aeroplane. Uh, my garden's not very large and most of the things I do I try to demonstrate by using them in my kitchen. So an aeroplane doesn't really fit into that category. But I thought I might have a try. Um, I bought this 20 pack of polystyrene plates um, several episodes back for a different project. So I think I might just see if I can make a small polystyrene aeroplane. Um, basically I'll cut strips out of this to make the wings and the tail plane and the fins. And I'll probably use one of these wooden stirrers that you get in um, coffee shops for the body. And see how I get on. Not sure whether to make it just a simple glider or whether to try and actually make it a rubber band powered aeroplane. I suppose the sensible thing is to start off with a glider and if that works consider converting it to rubber band powered afterwards. So we'll see how we get on. First thing I've done is cut the bottoms out of two of the plates just to give me some reasonably flat pieces of polystyrene I'll then cut out to make the wings. Right, I've cut two wings out of the discs that I'd cut out of the centre of the plates and I've marked a line, what's that, well, slightly less than a third of the way back from the front edge. I've scored it with a pencil and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it up a little bit. And I'm going to run some hot glue along there to give it a very slight aerodynamic or an airfoil section. And it will also stiffen it by um, putting a fold in it. I'm just going to use this piece of cane to lay on the table just so that I get the um, the height the same on both wings. Before I actually do that gluing one thing I want is I'll want dihedral as they call it. The wings will need to be folded up slightly. That means I've got to do some trimming on the inside edge there so that when they're when they've got their shape, they'll actually fold up nicely. Right, I'm copying this technique off the guys on flight test. You do excellent polystyrene model aeroplanes. Well, just let that cool down, and hopefully that will give us a bit of an airfoil shape to the wing. I'll do the same on the other side in a minute when that's cooled down. Okay, I've just hot glued the wings onto the body. Now I need to make tail and a rudder. Okay, so that's the rudder and the tail. I don't know if you can see, but I've actually cut little, um, what do we call them, ailerons and uh, yeah, 
so that I can give it some adjustment up and down if necessary. Um, definitely need to put some weight on the front because it's very tail heavy at the moment. I'm guessing that my centre of gravity ought to be right up here somewhere. So I'll need to wrap some weight around the front. I expect I could use a bit of solder if it's heavy, heavy enough. Right, so we've got some solder wrapped around the front to give us some weight. It's uh, just about centre gravity from where the fold in my wing is. Fold where I've made my airfoil section. So we'll have to go and give it a test. Back down to the kitchen. Okay, time for a test flight. Uh, I'll try and keep it in camera shot. I reckon that's perfect. Okay, time for a summary. Uh, the wings and tailplane and rudder are all made out of polystyrene dishes or plates. That's two polystyrene plates I've used there. Um, out of a pack of 20 for a pound from my local bargain store. The body or fuselage is a wooden stirrer from the coffee shop and the weight at the front is just a bit of solder that I've wrapped around it to get the balance right to get the centre of gravity. The centre of gravity is more or less there where I've put the bend in the um, wing to give it the airfoil shape. Can't take it outside to demonstrate because it's dark out there. So that's it. Um, what else did I do? I put, I put a bit of a crease in it so I could actually bend the fin if I needed to and I did the same on the back there so that I got flaps or ailerons, flaps, whatever, whatever they're called, so they go up and down if I need to adjust the trim. And that's it. I probably ought to put a shout out to the guys at Flight Test who do, um, well their entire job is polystyrene model aeroplanes, so I watch their channel quite a lot and pick up hints and tips. Um, so I'll probably put a link to their site as well so you can see the, the work they do. And that's it. Bargain Store project number 34 is a polystyrene plate com uh, converted into a model aeroplane. Um, whether I go as far as putting a propeller on the front and making a rubber driven one I'll have to think, because it's a matter of making a decent propeller to make it work.